If you have ever gone to a movie theater, listened to music, or read by the light of an electric bulb, you can thank Thomas Edison, the most prolific inventor in American history. His 1,093 patents cover an astounding range of fields, from telecommunications, electric power, sound recording, motion pictures, batteries, and even chemistry and botany. Thomas Alva Edison was born on February 11, 1847, in the canal town of Milan, Ohio. Al, as he was called as a boy, attended school briefly, but did so poorly due to his lack of interest. His mother, a former school teacher, began to educate her son at home. Always a curious child and a voracious reader, Edison also taught himself by reading on his own. This strong belief in self-improvement remained with him throughout his life. By the age of 22, Thomas received his first patent on an electric vote recorder. This invention was ultimately a commercial failure, but he was undeterred and continued to work on various projects until in 1871, he developed his first successful invention, an improved stock ticker called the Universal Stock Printer. Hundreds of other inventions would soon follow, but perhaps his most important invention was to lay the groundwork on how to invent and for introducing the research and development methods that are still used today. This collaborative style of innovation was the forerunner to the interactive technological think tanks of Apple, Google, and Microsoft. In 1876, Edison created his first research facility in Menlo Park, New Jersey. It was here that he developed some of his most famous inventions, such as a telephone transmitter, the first system of incandescent electric light and power, and the invention that brought him world fame, the phonograph, the first device to be able to record and play back sound. In 1887, Edison opened a new and larger facility in West Orange, New Jersey. During the 44 years he worked at this laboratory, he invented the first successful motion picture camera, better phonograph and recording technology, and an alkaline storage battery. About this same time, Edison visited Florida and purchased over 13 acres of property in Fort Myers to serve as a retreat from colder climates. While wintering in Fort Myers, Edison did not stop innovating. Here he improved light bulbs, researched underwater communications, investigated converting heat into electricity, and created a botanical laboratory. Fort Myers also became the headquarters for his final research project when he went into business with good friends Henry Ford and Harvey Firestone and built a botanical laboratory in Fort Myers to find an alternative source of rubber for U.S. industry. With his customary energy, Edison grew and tested thousands of different plants to find a suitable rubber substitute, eventually finding a type of goldenrod that could produce enough rubber to be feasible. Today, the Edison and Ford Winter Estates in Fort Myers is an award-winning historical landmark. And in 2014, Edison's Botanical Laboratory was designated as a National Historic Chemical Landmark, the first such site in Florida to receive this honor. The world we live in today reflects Thomas Edison's legacy of innovation in countless ways. No other inventor has had such a profound impact on the daily lives of so many people. Steve Jobs once said, Thomas Edison taught us how to invent. He also taught us that having a good idea is not enough. It takes hard work to make dreams into a reality. Genius, said Edison, is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. We salute 
Thomas Edison, Florida's and America's greatest inventor. <laughs>